Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we will be painting some lucifer flowers I would say and first I'm gonna start with making my sketch and this time I'm gonna sketch it just on a regular paper. This is actually a sketching paper just cheap block that I paid less than a dollar I think and I'm gonna mark where the where the edges of my papers are and then with the ruler I'm gonna draw the lines just to know how large my paper watercolor paper is and to make it easier myself to make a sketch. I'm starting off with drawing two ovals and on one side they are a little bit more round and on the other a little bit more flat. After that I'm just drawing the center of my flower and I'm placing those centers a little bit on one side the one that is a little bit more flat and then painting the painting the petals of my flowers and I'm gonna paint I think five petals for each flower and as you can see those that are on one side the smaller side are also a little bit smaller and those on the right side on the side that is a little bit larger from the center they are of course a little bit longer and I'm also thinking about the placement of those petals and how they would look in nature so that is also why I'm doing those curves and that is how I decide where to place the curves for my petals. I'm not gonna paint them quite straight because that wouldn't be very believable but just adding a little bit little curves to those petals making it look like some of some petals those petals on the smaller side are covering slightly those centers and I did draw those leaves on top but at the end I decided not to paint them and they did not end up in a final painting but only those two larger leaves that I'm just sketching right now are gonna be in a final painting without those couple of smaller ones that were just looking too much for me so I decided not to do them after all. Now that I'm finished with my sketch I'm gonna trace it onto watercolor paper and for that I'm gonna use a graphite paper but just don't forget to stick your pa your paper your sketch to your watercolor paper because if you move it slightly well you cannot never go back and place it on the right place so just keep that in mind to tape it to make sure you don't move your paper and if you don't have to have a graphite paper you can of course do that just placing it on your window. Next thing I did I took a larger brush with quite a amount of water and sprayed in on tapped in no sprinkled some uh, paint and you can see right now there are some larger splatters here and there and also some smaller here and there that is why that is the reason why I took a larger brush and added a lot of water to that and afterwards I left it to dry completely and then moved on to painting the petals the flowers and I did not prevent the paper but just some painting wet on dry and first I started with a light layer of pinkish color and painted it from the center going outwards a little bit lighter and then with a little bit smaller brush picked up a little bit more pigment and added it in the center doing those liney strokes to make that center a little poppy and to add some veins and some well distinction and texture to those centers and that is how I painted my both flowers and finished with that I took a little bit of yellow again and painted in the centers of the flowers and then took a brown color and added it tapped it here and there to the center of the flower and with that I finished the centers from now for now and then picked up just a small very very small detail brush and added a little bit more of the lines with a little bit more saturated and darker color darker red this is I think some earthy red so those paints are actually you probably already know that but I'm just repeating myself those are the paints that that I made myself and they are completely natural and eco-friendly so I'm trying to use them as often as I can just to you know think to myself well I'm doing I'm not hurting nature while I'm painting using those paints that are well 
you know, doing bad things to our nature and to our earth. So these colors are eco-friendly. They, well, they are not hurting nature and I can use them freely and without any thinking that I'm just putting some harmful chemicals in, in nature when washing them in my sink. And when finished with that, you could, you could have seen I've added a little bit of that brown to the center, just nearest to the center to make that part the darkest. And then moved on to painting my leaves and I'm using green to paint them in. And I've just painted the part nearest to the flower a little bit darker than those parts that are near to the root. And then on the edges of the leaves, I've painted it slightly lighter and a little bit more white. When finished with that, I left that to dry completely and then moved on to painting the edges of my petals. I, I did not actually plan to do that, but somehow I decided to do it. I thought it would look nice. Maybe it would look better if I didn't add them at the end, but you know, why not? They look nice anyway and as you can see I did not paint the entire edge all the way but just here and there and also I've pressed my brush a little bit lighter on some parts and a little bit harder on some parts getting a little bit thinner and also a little bit thicker edge not painting it the entire same same way in the same line but just doing some lighter and some thinner and some thicker lines. And I've used also a little bit of that brownish color to add more of that darker color here and there to make some lines a little bit more darker and slightly pop. Also, I've added some veins to the leaves and quite light. I did not want to go overboard and paint them too dark. So I've added just some very, very thin lines and very light lines. And I'm not trying to be quite realistic with this painting. This one is also quite loose. So don't be bothered with making it realistic and paint every single vein or every single crease on the flower or every single shadow or highlight. I think this is just fine. This is just enough because we're just doing the impressions and making it as looser and as easier as possible. And now I'm using some yellow to add into my petals just to make some of the parts of them to pop slightly because they were just too one dimensional to me. So I decided to add a little bit more of the yellow here and there. And after that, I also decided to add a little bit more yellow to the leaves. Why not? <laughs> and afterwards, I left it to dry completely and well, added a couple of splatters again, you know, because why not? And when that dried completely, I moved on to painting those little things that are sticking from the center of the flower. I can't remember right now how that is called, but maybe I will remember. I'm not sure. I think you know what I mean. And those little things going out from it, from the center and just doing those little lines. And by, when I do them, I'm just thinking about how the flower is positioned. So I'm not doing just straight lines going out from the center. But as you can see right now, I'm following the line of my petals to make it a little bit more believable. And I think at the end that looks so cute. And I just love them so much. I couldn't stop adding those. And now the last thing I'm going to do is add a little bit more of the edges to my leaves. And I'm sorry, this is quite bad and my camera isn't really focused, but I did wanted to show you this anyway. So you can see what I'm doing. You can see actually what I'm doing, but you know, I'm sorry about that. For some reason, I, it stopped. So I turned it on again and I forgot to focus it. So I'm sorry. And with that, I'll be finishing off this painting and of course this video. Thank you guys a lot for watching, for all your support. I hope you do like this video. And as always, I forgot to say that even though I did a sketch on this video, 
you can find a sketch for download for free from my website. So go ahead, check the link down in the description box. Go ahead to my website and download the sketch for yourself if that is what you like and what you want. And if you do like this video, please hit the like button, share it, comment. And if you haven't still, well, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to my channel. And if you want to go even step further, consider joining my channel, press that join button next to the subscribe, listen to the offer. There are some really nice real time videos for my members. And you know, I did, I don't do real time videos here anymore, but you can find them on, on the membership part of the channel. So why not just give it a try. You can always say no and decide not to be a member anymore and quit that. So why not try it out and see if you like it. And again, thank you so, so much for watching and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.